Buongiorno and welcome to the Piazza Maggiore, Bologna's most famous square and one of Italy's as well. I just came back from the tourist office and I got my ticket for the two leaning towers which we will go to in a bit but for now I have 20 minutes to kill and I will show you the square over here we have the Neptune fountain it is a symbol of Bologna with the good old bloke up there and his little helpers and his babes at the bottom squirting water out of their memory glands here we have like a little uh, drinking fountain I am gonna take a sip of that water because my mouth is super dry at the moment so as you can hear in the background there is a guy playing um, piano this guy is taking a drink how does it taste? <laughs> no answer all right Tastes like uh, tap water. <clears throat> so in front of me there is the Basilica di San Petronio. In the time that it was built, it was the world's largest church, or the largest church in uh, the Christendom. So in this in this square, in this piazza, as they say in Italian, they used to host all different types of events. Night events, shows where the people of Bologna would come and spectate. They also used to host beheadings and executions. So I'm gonna Turn around so you can see the church. In front of it is the military where they are parked to protect this sacred building. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I read that half of it was not finished or it was completed in a different time. So as you can see on the top is brick face and at the bottom is Marble, I'm presuming. So, you can imagine this is where the people of Bologna for hundreds of years would come and gather around and spend their evenings here to watch the different events going on, the different executions watching their neighbors or their working mates getting beheaded so like I said I got my ticket for the towers which we are heading to right now the ticket cost me five euros and the next tour, or the next time it's open, is at 4.15. But the lady at the office said, I have to be there five minutes before. So let's uh, get there on time. We have enough time. But, um, so yeah, these towers, the 
due tori, as they say in Italian, is um, a famous symbol of Bologna because they are leaning, they are skew, in other words. And here you can see them in front of me. So the two leaning towers of Bologna. The biggest one in front of me is called the Azinelli Tower. Oof. My ears. Ah, my ears. So like I said, the biggest tower in front of me is called the Azinelli Tower. It is I'm gonna stand here and get a thumbnail. So this this Azinelli Tower is 97 meters tall with an inclination of just over two meters, so 2.2 meters if I'm not mistaken. And its shorter counterpart, which you can't see from here. It's got an even worse inclination, so it is even more leaning. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's see if we can see it from here. Let's get a thumbnail. Well, I'm trying to not get killed because the streets here are really, really busy. Whew. Okay, ah, uh, there we go. Here you can see the two towers together. So it's shorter counterpart, the Garisenda is um, a skew of about, so it is leaning to the one side. Um, about three meters off. So even over three meters off. So here you go. Here you can see it a bit better. So the smaller one, the Garisenda, has got an inclination of over three meters. Woo. I don't know what type of architects these people had, but they they didn't too didn't do uh, too good of a job. So as you can ah uh, uh, shut up. Green. Okay, so now that the noise is kind of gone, take a look at this tower. So the Gari Sender, like I said three times now, has got an inclination of over three, 3.3 .3 meters, I'm guessing. And um, here you can see them both a bit better. And there, I guess, is the Archbishop, if I'm not mistaken, who once ruled here. Then again, correct me if I'm wrong, for I am not a history head. I just read a little bit before I came. So let's see if we can get another thumbnail. This is always the tricky part for YouTube. All right. So from here, you can see the inclination even better. So the thing is, all around Bologna, there were these towers. There were hundreds of them built here in the city. But today, there are less than 20. So I think 15 or 17, to be precise. I don't know what happened to them. They must have uh, fallen over like their, like their buddies over here. The architect who designed these things in got them built was uh, no good all right trying to not get killed with these impatient people here is a old entrance to one of the buildings next to it and over here is like a little piazza again ah. I don't know how good it looks with the lights in the background, but um, 
let's walk through this piazza and underneath the portico the portico wow someone is smoking it up here so these uh, porticos or these outside outdoor hallways i guess i don't know what they're called in english um, are super famous here in bologna as you can see they're everywhere so what they did they used to extend the first floor so they would ex just extend it and then um, the result was these uh, pathways <clears throat> so what is the time i have 10 minutes so here i've made it to the entrance of the azinelli tower just take a look from the bottom here and then you can truly see how tall it actually is because you never know how tall something is until you're standing underneath it and look up all right so i have to wait here for another 10 minutes and then i um i will carry on filming but for now i'm gonna cut the camera off and you will see me in a bit okay thank you all right so we are going up the 498 stairs now it's pretty dark in here i hope you can uh, see me probably So the, um, the two towers were given their names by the two families that were responsible of building them. Jesus. Gary Sender and the Azinelli families. And uh, how many stairs have we done? Uh, 400 more to go. I hope the light condition in here is not too bad. Alright, carrying on before I fall too behind you. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Take a look out that window. Check these stairs. I'm not made for big blondies like myself. Oh. Look at these stairs. Okay. Oh, we haven't made it yet. Almost though. Wow. Alright. Jesus Christ. Looks like we're only halfway. What is this? Some type of a fitness test or something? I don't have to your leg day for weeks after this oh my Mario is uh, starting to show we're 
still rolling, four minutes. So apparently it takes about 45 minutes there, so up and uh, down. And it's even more exhausting when you're talking and vlogging at the same time. Let's turn the camera around here for a bit. Watch your step. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. Carrying on. Check these little holes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> no break for me. No break for me. I'm gonna push through this. Check out the window. Do they have the security camera? Okay, I'm really sweating up, uh, sweating bullets over here. <sighs> Mamma mia. <sighs> oh, okay. So, um, uh, these um, towers were originally built for a means of defense and uh, uh, lookout. So, the aristocratic families that lived here would stay here in the tower, all safe and sound. And, um, And uh, apparently they would enter the building via a roped ladder on the first floor. Wow, take a look at that view. I think we're gonna see a even better view in a minute. So we still have quite a bit more to go. Jesus Christ. You really have to watch your step here. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. And now, uh, now I feel the part where it's leaning. <laughs> oh. How did people live in here? How the hell did people live in here? I really have to watch my steps, so don't mind me if I am. Uh, not looking at the camera because I don't want to trip over here and end down there okay soldiering on come on please tell me we made it Was uh, definitely not uh, built for any um, barbarians like myself. I think uh, this is the last climb, and then. We have made it, I hope. Okay. All right. Security guy. Oh, we have made it. And I am uh, all sweaty here. Jesus Christ. Let's uh, take a look at that view. <laughs> Just try to uh, catch my breath here before I carry on rambling on. Wow, that's impressive. It's literally breathtaking. So, like I said, 
all over Bologna they used to have these towers but uh, now there's less than 20 of them here I don't know if you can see there's two little ones over there let's get a try and get another thumbnail <laughs> let's see what we can see from here so there is the uh, the church the Basilica di San Petronio there's the Piazza Maggiore where we started the tourist office is over there so you have to buy your tickets there first and then come all around walk all around here yeah. let's take a look at uh, the Garisenda the small brother where is he? can we see him from here? <laughs> let's see if we can spot the smaller brother there we go there he is right underneath us so as you can see the the uh, the inclination how it's leaning back like that I wonder if it is a safety concern what a ah oh, there we go there's another ah oh, another two another two of the towers that I was uh, talking about earlier on so from here I'm gonna end this video and you will see me next time from the Asinelli tower